you know, my first solo album, which is a metal instrumental album, was released just a few months ago in December 2013. For those who have purchased the album, thank you very much. As I promised on my last video, I was going to go through some of the riffs, start going through some of the songs, and some of the chops, some of the leads and all that stuff, um, just on random songs. I'll just pick a song here and there and, and show you a riff. So, the first riff I want to show you guys is from the very first song called Redemption. And it's the opening riff and also what I call, I guess, the chorus or main riff, whatever you want to call it. But um, it's, it's kind of really what started my album to begin with. I was just, you know, sitting down, it was probably three or four years ago. And I came up with this little riff, and it, it was somewhat inspired by Judas Priest's Painkiller album, and actually the song Painkiller. Not that it's anything like it, but that, that was kind of what I was, um, I was listening to a lot of that, and I was inspired by that. So, anyway, I just played the riff for you, and now I'm going to break it down and give you the tablature for it. So, enjoy. Okay, folks, now that I've brought you in a little bit closer here, I'm going to break this down for you, and I'm going to play it a little bit slower, and I'll have the tablature up on the video for you. We're basically playing on three strings. We're using the D, G, and B strings. And that's it. And there's two prominent techniques involved here. We're doing some string skipping, and we're also palm muting most of the strings. It's kind of more of a light palm mute. I'm not, I'm not muting as heavy as I would playing my metal rhythms. It's more of a light palm mute. Now, I'm going to try to play this riff slow, and I'm not boasting, but this riff is kind of hard to play slow, so if I mess up, please forgive me. <laughs> I mean, it's not a super fast rhythm, but it, there's a certain tempo that you have to get with the rhythm, and, and you'll notice that when you hear the song. So it's, it's kind of hard to play it slow, because me, I forget the notes. <laughs> so I'll throw the tablature up on the screen as I'm, as I'm playing this. See, I already messed up. Now, that's the first part of it. The one, the one thing I didn't tell you in the beginning is there's, there's actually two parts to this riff. That's the first part. The second part is just like it. And the one, what I just played for you, I play on the first and third time. What I'm about to play for you now, I play on the second and fourth time. And it's just a little bit different here. I'll throw the tabs up. So I'll play the whole thing through with the first and second part. And that's pretty much it. You know, it's, it's kind of simple. There's just a slight variation between the, the first and third pieces that I play and then the second and fourth pieces that I play. And um, originally when I wrote the song, it was just that first part. But later as I started recording it, I'm like, let me, let me throw another variation in it. Just kind of spice it up a little bit, sound a little bit cooler in my opinion. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the lesson. My album is available on iTunes, Amazon, and yes, that was a sales pitch, so buy my album now. That was a subliminal message. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.